the overflow of the lava which started tonight just a few hours ago has now stopped strangely enough this was continuing to the dark it happened during the afternoon hours and then it continued to the darkness of the night beautiful scene you can see molten lava something as dense of, as concrete hitting the wall of the crater then suddenly it stopped no more flow from this direction which is toward the west then from behind this is what we will see a lava stream flowing from the north side of the crater and then a stream of straws from the eastern side oozing down lava from both directions the crater is practically shattered is broken apart the walls are collapsing you can see here a biggest part on the top already has collapsed a small one now collapses also you will see it now just in a few seconds as you oh, we are waiting yet yeah, that's the moment it happened then a huge eruption i will go closer to show you this unfortunately because of the bad bad weather we were not able actually to see it look at this is look, looking like a molten metal inside a steel factory the direction of the wind shows that the wind is very strong so no drone probably was in the air to record this but well, we have seen this before once again in the little Koto volcano this volcano this one which i have named as k1 is located at the boundary of the eurasian plate and the north american plate I'll, I'll draw the line the line is defined by these earthquakes. No Eurasian plane, Grindavik is on it, and North American plate is Sorsengi and the rest of the uh, uh, Reconis Peninsula. As you can see, there was a tick, uptick, on the amount of the tremors, and also in the uplift in the Sorsengi. Interesting enough, this was similar to what we have seen previously. From the Little Koto volcano, as you can see here, we have this uh, footage. From the previous eruption amazing this is the ruv camera showing you that and this interesting enough happened during the spring tide when the moon is in the new phase 